It has been quite a night. I have had uh, the girls over and uh, we did three or four whiskeys. Uh, we started out with a Revelstoke uh, spiced Canadian whiskey and we had a Gordon McPhail Highland Park eight-year-old whiskey. We also had something that will come up on Sunday. We had a sample Sunday whiskey. And we had another whiskey, but I'm not going to share that with you right now. It turns out that I need some, needed something to put up on Friday. Well, here it is. It is the Smokehead Sherry Bomb Island Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Now, hope you bear with me for a moment while I figure out where and how I got this. <laughs> um, it will give me, uh, just give me a moment here, please. Um, just give me a moment while I figure out where I got this and how much it cost me and all that other good stuff. Um, it will take me just a moment to get there as people like me are a little slow at times. Okay. All right. Now smokehead, I've had a few smokeheads. I had a rum cask one not too long ago. And the previous ones I've had before that were really, really nice. And um, here we go. We've got to check our orders here because we made a lot of orders from these people here. Uh, is it in here? Okay, Smokehead. Sherry Bomb, Isla Single Malt Whiskey, 48% alcohol by volume, $89.99. And uh, that would be about uh, how much in shipping from Alberta? Uh, about ten, thirteen dollars. So thirteen dollars and eighty nine ninety nine. So ninety dollars and thirteen hundred and three dollars. I suppose it's worth it. $103 to get this to my door from Alberta. Okay. And it's at 48% alcohol by volume, after all. Uh, that's not a bad thing at all, is it? Now let me get back to the other screen because this is disconcerting. All I am seeing is the... Um, there we are. That's better. All I was seeing is the screen that showed how much I paid for this. Well, we all know that by now, don't we? Wait, this is heavy. What else is in here besides? Oh, it's just one of these, one of these corrugated paper things that's supposed to protect the bottle from the harshness of the cylinder it's a it's a metal cylinder it's it's nice okay now we're on to the smoke head uh, might as well just pull all this file off foil off of here for the most part of course I goofed <laughs> This should be good. All right. And got a good pop there. There's our smoke head. Sherry bomb. Now I'm going to read everything else that it says on there. Soon as I've poured myself a good, healthy, quig-sized dram. 
Well, that's more than quig size, but anyway, you know how it is. And here it says, Smokehead. Hmm. Sherry bottle and other single malt scotch whiskey. Indulge your senses with a peaty smokehead that's been boldly blasted by Oloroso sherry casks, emerging full-bodied, fruity and fierce, spicy and smooth, a whiskey that's more explosive than an Armada cannonball. Distilled and bottled in Scotland, Ian McLeod Distilleries Ltd. Mit Farbstoff. Tsuka Koloa. You know what that means? That means it's been colored. It's got artificial color. But it doesn't say anything about 48% um, alcohol by volume. Okay, Ian McLeod Distillers, European office. Potenza Hauptstrasse to for Hamburg, Germany. Smokehead.com. But it does not say anything about chill filtering. It says it's got color in it, but it doesn't say anything about chill filtering. Is it chill? What? Why would anyone chill filter a 48% alcohol by volume whiskey anyway? I ask you. What would be the point? Oh. Right away. I'm getting a creosote, strong creosote note, and it's just, ah, oh, creosote, creosote, creosote. I'm reminded of the ruby-throated sparrow. Ah, oh, creosote. Uh, lots of creosote, and I'm getting some fruitiness, I'm getting some berryness, I'm getting some sherryness, I'm getting beautiful, dark, ripe, mature, fruit in my creosote. This is going to be nice. I'm already thinking this is going to be nice. Strong creosote. Strong fruit. The fruit and the creosote balance each other. But I'm not getting a lot of other notes. That I often get with... Uh, Repeated Scotch whiskey from Isla. I am, for example, not getting any citrus fruit. I'm not getting any lemon. I'm not getting any orange. Oh, excuse me. I'm not getting a lot of uh, lime or grapefruit or anything like that. Well, let's try again. Okay, it's a bit lemony. But as soon as that lemon dissipates, I get barn board, 
and creosote, creosote, strong creosote. The uh, the fruits, the uh, citrus fruits just sort of <laughs> disappeared. And talking orange and lime and lemon and grapefruit and everything else, it just kind of disappears as soon as I swallow this. And right away I get a lot of creosote. A lot of creosote and some fruits, yeah, some dark fruits, some dark ripe fruits, some oh excuse me. Well grapes mostly. Grapes. And there is fruitiness there, yes, but there is a lot of that peat smoke. It's a lot of that overpowering peat smoke. Yum oh, this is good. It's something to be savored slowly. And I'm finding myself drinking it fast which is not a good thing at 48 percent alcohol by volume this is a wonderful whiskey and it seems that every time i try an expression of smokehead My respect for the producers of this juice goes up a notch or two every time I try a new one. We've had the whew, standard smokehead 12 or 10 or whatever age it was. Then I have had the uh, Regular smokehead, I guess. Then there was a smokehead with rum casks, and it was called Rum Rebel. And now this one with apparently cast strength sherry, but uh, this was bottled at 48%. What does it say on here? Smokehead, Sherry Bomb, Isla Single Malt, Scotch Whiskey, a bunch of red writing, or is it just a red line? It's just a red line. Distilled and bottled in Scotland, Ian McLeod Distillers, LTD, 48%. Alcohol by volume, 70 centiliters. On the back. Oh, you know what? Have I read this already? Smokehead Sherry Bomb, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Indulge your senses with a peaty smokehead that's been boldly blasted by Oloroso Sherry Casks, emerging full-bodied, fruity, and fierce, spicy, and smooth. A whiskey that's more explosive than an Armada Cannonball? Distilled and bottled in Scotland, Ian McLeod. Yeah, I read this already. Good gosh. This is what happens when I've had a lot to drink. I tend to repeat myself and make mistakes. My apologies. I tell you, this is a delicious piece of work. I am liking it a lot. The strong sherry balances out the strong peat. And I do love me a balance of sherry and peat. 
I prefer it every time to just Sherry or only Pete. Sherry and Pete or Port and Pete, any such combination will make me very happy. And I'm liking this one too. Mm. Slanchiva. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. <laughs> <laughs>